Hey guys, welcome to another the animation base tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at, at um, how to make text fade in and out. So let's get started. So I um, made a flash file AS3. Um, you can set the stage to whatever color you want. I'm going to use black. Uh, pick your text tool and write whatever you want animation base drag that out so you can see it all and change the color to white okay I'll change the font to We'll use we'll use that. All right. So now, once you have your text all made, you want to right click and convert to symbol. You can call it whatever you want, and uh, make sure that it's movie clip with the registration in the top left corner, and click OK. Now, once this is a movie clip, you can um, you can come down to the property filters, and you can add a drop shadow if you'd like. You can add a, you can add a bevel. You can do whatever you really want to with it. Make it look however you want. So we'll just make it look a little bit better with that. Okay, and now what you want to do is in your timeline, on we'll say frame 50, you want to right click and insert T frame. Now, go back to the first frame, we'll rename the layer text to. Okay, on the first frame, make sure that it's selected, select your symbol, come over to color fat, and choose alpha. Now you want to put it down it should be at default it should be 100 you want to put it down to 0 now when you go to the last frame you'll see that it's fully the alpha is at it should be at 100 percent so now in between anywhere in between these two keyframes right click and create classic between now when you click enter you should see the text fading in. And um, it's the exact same thing if you want it to fade out. So um, if you wanted it to fade in and then back out, just go, uh, we'll say another 100 or uh, 50 frames, insert keyframe. We'll go back to alpha, put it down to zero, right click, create class between. And we will control and test movie. And there you have it. That is how you can make um, text fade in and out. It also works with any symbol, any character that you have, or background, foreground, whatever you're making. If it's a symbol, you can click it on the first keyframe. You can put the alpha to zero, or if you want it to fade out to 100, and make another keyframe and put it to zero or 100, and just keep doing that. So, that's it for this tutorial, and um, thanks for watching, and make sure you stay tuned in.